going into a new section as well. It's the same yeah. going into the rest of the team. I think we tend to do more things with, or we'll try and do more things with changing colours, maybe. Right. And yeah. Uh, then the other thing that occurred to me as well was the theme when it comes. Um, seemed very fast to me, but maybe I, I got the wrong end of the sticker. Is there a, is there a metro marking on that, or is it just a... Minimum is 72. Okay, okay, no, so it is fast. Well, then that's exactly what you did. Um. Just what Alice was talking about is um, about characterising the, the Reset Park. It, it brought to mind a piece that we've played recently, which is actually for Piano Trio and Orchestra, um, which is, no, no, sorry, it's, it's for violin, cello and orchestra um, by Saint-Saëns, La Muse à la Poète. And um, it's very much the dialogue of two characters, like the prince and the princess. It's, that's, that's how it feels in that piece. And, and I just sort of thought maybe you could sort of adopt a role for at least these moments where you... Because it seems my um, first impression of the piece was, gosh, you hardly ever play together for quite some time, isn't it? You say one thing and then you say it, and then quite long and extended passages. So to really kind of make, make it that the case that you are portraying a, a certain character or person or an idea or whatever, I mean, I'm sure you've thought of this, but, but to make that possibly a bit more obvious. So then when you start to dialogue, you kind of, you're coming from not the same. You're not just trying to yeah, blend. Yeah, I agree. And maybe say at, at the rest of the part, the, the slower viola, you know, really to not allow yourself out of your particular character, as Lucy mm -hmm. suggests, too much, so that we really believe that for the whole of your phrase and then something new, mm -hmm. and then, you know. Do you want to try starting on the rest of the team? Yeah. I thought actually at the beginning of this 
section, when the flute first enters, um, well, it was more the second phrase, that if it doesn't develop too much, you're, you're allowing your, your character to take over later on in the plan. Whereas if the beginning, if you kind of assert yourself too much, it's, um, it's almost like the balance is, starts off with this sort of weighty, rather English-sounding moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A bit of Vaughan Williams or, or something, uh, I don't know. Um, but I feel like you're getting those sounds, which I like. We're not so different, the French and the English. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> true. Yeah. Um, so I just thought that then gradually then y y you take over you, with your outburst, but, but then, you know, in the end it's back to the viola. We, well, I wonder, I'd love to hear the opening again. Yeah, great. The, uh, the thing that struck me most about the opening were these beautiful harmonies. That they're kind of strong harmonies, aren't they? You're only piano, but they just say so slow and sad, we are told. But there's a sort of strength in them. I'd just love to hear them again. I, uh, yeah. Stop you there. Thank you. Um, okay, so with my um, extreme inexperience with this piece, what I trying to make sense of it, what I wondered, in a way, it was similar to the Ravel trio, where we're given a, a load of um, instructions and um, metronome markings, um, is how to make it cohesive. Um, my the first impression is that you have this very slow, slightly free. Do you mean to be free with the rhythm? Um, I wanted to sing. No, I mean, that was probably too much. Well, no, I mean, it just that was my, my that, that it was hard to sort of feel that structure of the, of the two bar phrase and then the freedom, which he says, and per moins long. So a little slower, but then he gives you a metro marking about a third quicker. I just wondered about not making it so yeah. quickly to shoot off. You're very used to the music, you see. This is this thing about the more you get to know something, the further down a route you go. But to us, the uninitiated, mm. I needed to sort of know what was happening rather than in this acoustic. So, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, um, <laughs> so it's almost like there's a reluctance to let it go. I feel that you, you yeah. Know, so that's you. Yeah. 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 And also, looking at the score, one thing I hadn't noticed at all was that it had this rhythm at the beginning, ta da dum da dum ta dum and then in that bar you get faster, but then at the end of the bar, ta dum So it's not, it's not like something new, it's part of the same idea, but it's got a bit faster. If we, if we could just somehow connect the two, it'd be fantastic. And then that second phrase is, must open out more, compare it with the first, yeah? The mezzo forte. This is more forthright, I think. Yeah. This is a question, sorry, for pianists, I suppose. That second bar, tum to dum. Is it? It looks on the page like it's a voice of its own. Do you think it is? I'm not sure. Well, I think it's a continuation of the of that line. Of the Fine. Good. I mean, it could then come into its own. Yeah. But I, I, I only hear da dum. Yeah. Just in, in this room, I can't pick out the rest.
because we were all on Tinder. Yeah. And yeah. You seem a bit embarrassed by it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would be. I think you can, it says even per dosi, I would take more time and make us wait. Yeah. Quite hard when that's going on yes, above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so actually, now I hear the viola, that rhythm, dum da dum, is very thematic, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think at least what you did. Yeah. And the first one, you know, the extra tea dum I said, I heard the first one. I didn't hear the second one at all. It must get caught in the pedal or something. I have no idea, pianistic things. But um, anything you can do to bring that out. Do you know the thing I mean, Ben? Yes, the, this motive. Yeah. 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 I'm just wondering, um, at bar 16, yeah. is the piano is still primary voice, is that right there? Wait, I'm it does, voice. And it does say from always a little yeah. bit forward. I'm just wondering if there could be an even a better blend and just making sure that, that, that you, you maintain the top and you're sort of the middle voice there yeah. rather than yeah. you, need to, you have to project too much. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't need quite as much at cello and after that. Um. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, in the, we're not leading anywhere. It's just a sort of suggestion in a way, and then we're coming back to this thing. Yeah. But it just, it, I think it's partly this room, though. I think everything seems too much or, you know, so possibly if we heard it in a dry room, I'd be very happy. But I think that's part of it. We have to adjust to our surroundings, so... Mm. Um, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it, that when we get to the few large at 19, maybe, I wonder, wonder if you tried that just a little stricter. We've had the challenge of very fluid music and then just really you, we could achieve something a bit more straight. Yeah. Um, it's got those epic quality again, hasn't it, the, these um, harmonies. Just do 11. Yes. Don't be late on the A sharp on the second beat for the next bar. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the A sharp. Mm.
Yeah, but, uh, but I didn't mind because it's, well, actually, your fortissimo yeah. more than the viola. That's interesting. Yeah, I just... I yeah, I could hear more, definitely. I just thought it wasn't particularly important. It's part of the kind of texture, isn't it? it I just wonder if, the, if your texture was a little more... Bom, 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 a little bit less choppy. It <laughs> was sort of picked yeah. out more, if it might be more exciting. Yeah. And at the end, um, do you think he means the trill to go slower and slower? What do you think? With a rallentando on the trill, and then he writes out a grace note D C sharp at the end. Could be slowing the trill down. Yes. Yeah. So That's a similar. That. It's a similar um, dilemma, isn't it? Isn't in the Messian quartet for the end of time. Oh yeah. There's um, a crescendo on. There's a yes. crescendo <laughs> on a, but and a ritenuto on a trill. Yes. If there's nothing, how do you writ on a trill? How yeah. do you? tell the audience that a note is getting slower if it's just going -la 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 -la. Yeah. I don't think you can <laughs> unless you start -la 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 -da 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 -da. it's the only way isn't it uh, if there's nothing else going on so it's a sort of similar idea here the row yeah Claudia Aro did nice slow trills Glenn Gould of course loved them the more, I, different. the more I hear this rhythm, tum, tum, chum, ta tum, it's, it's got to have, it's got to be so strong at the beginning that we need to pick up immediately that that is the theme of which, I mean, not the theme, but the theme of the introduction, which then becomes this amazing climax here. And I kind of got it for the first time, and again, probably because it's second hearing. But I think you could spell it out a bit more, because you, you're going to have to assume that most of your audience have never heard this piece before. So, of course, you know, themes can, can, can have a transition but, um, and change, but I think it's got to plant a seed in their brain enough that when you do change it, we recognise it. I think that's probably what was a little bit missing at the beginning. Yeah. One thing occurred to me, if we may not quite get that far, but whether the, the Leger one, is it the fourth version, I think it was that one, um, just to sort of maintain, really, perhaps I'm just saying, maintain the quality, the character of each variation a little bit more, so that one really is sparkly and all the way through, and articulation-wise, to keep a bit more of that within each variation. Where should we go from the theme? Thank you. Um, just a <coughs> couple of thoughts. Um, in the, well, in the fir first variation, really, because it's so syncopated in, in the, the, up the, the instrument, the, I, I, I need a lot of bass note in here. Otherwise, it, it's just, it, it, it's quite hard to sort of latch on to anything. Um, and then similarly, I don't know what it is, I'm, I'm just not, not hearing the piano well today, but you've kind of got a lot of the tune haven't you really and it's easy to be a little bit engulfed i think by by the viola or the flute at times i think we need to know who the main voice is a little bit more clearly so you really take over you know towards the forte and 
Yeah. Just one question about phrasing yeah. with the theme. Is it sort of to the yeah, I kind of to the G sharp? That's what, I think that's how it's Yeah. I just wondered when, when you then do the kind of complicated version of it, just to slightly more clearly give us a, a phrasing, because otherwise it's, all, it's unusually far from the theme for a first variation. You know, he's done a lot to disguise it, but I want to just, maybe if it was phrased a bit more clearly, it would, yeah. we'd hear it. You could possibly relate the tempos a little bit more to each other as well. You go at the, at the moment, the four bars before the first variation, it's not so different metronome speaking. It goes quite a lot faster there. And then, and then, then everything that comes after that is quite in here, hard to latch onto. Maybe spell it out a bit more. Yeah. Should we have the link to the... Yeah. yeah. more articulate yeah. just I, I, I could take it I think yeah because he's obviously playing on the sort of the free and then coming back to the, the the theme the free the so in terms of the color and everything in that first variation the more you do of that and then the piano telling us no this is the theme you know that's not always you're always bringing us back to it aren't you and you're trying to get away from it yeah and it's, it's, it's quite a lot of um, three against two rhythm in this one, isn't there? The ya -ta 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 or and then across. I'm just wondering if it shouldn't be so fast that we don't feel that, or that there isn't a little bit of grip to that. So you could just try it. this variation with even more of, of your own dynamics because it's su such a lot of overlapping and it seems he does this quite often that he um, lets one phrase die and then another really come in particularly with the canon in this variation I think it'd be good if there was a bit more overlapping of dynamics so don't worry if you're a little covered when you come in because then you're going to 
emerge. Thank you. Um, is this the first time we've had anything in three? Mm. I think everything else has been in four, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it takes kind of about uh, eight bars for me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to know, I'm a bit of a sort of bar line person. Um, you know, I like to know where I am in the bar. Um, so I, I, I could take it. I mean, it's difficult because you've got all those offbeats. Mm, but you have got in da 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 tum ba da ba bum. Pa pum. Yeah, we, we'd like just a bit more obvious would be says, great. He says non legato. Now, that's written underneath the left hand. But do you think it applies to the right hand semiquavers as much? Because then the flute's going to do very kind of detached. I just wanted to sparkle. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're suggesting it, more suggesting? non legato touch, okay. kind of. Well, just try it, see. You see, you're just a little. Yeah, it is a quick tempo, I admit. Yeah. Anyway, it's something you could practice yeah. slower and work up. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it'd be nice to hear every note like a diamond. Sorry to stop you, that, that, that's already so much better, but I feel da 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 tum. Mm -hmm. I feel that first beat doesn't have enough poise. The, obviously, over something over the bar line, just slightly falling in there, and, and, but it, it's already loads better. Yeah, that's so much better. Mm. I think it might not feel fast enough to you. Or, or, I mean, certainly in here, it's plenty fast enough for us. <laughs> um, I think it's clearer, yeah. I wonder if it, at the end, it's, it, the B sharp is what's really funny. Yeah, just to, I don't know, I'm not quite... So what am I saying? Yeah. Cheeky. Yeah. yeah. Three. Last three, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
tea, maybe a hot tea. You could just sort of have just something more about it, maybe. One more time. Yeah, I mean, actually, the the time. You, you didn't mean to play that the very short, or did you? No, Is I meant the dum bum. Okay. That one. Yep. Maybe. It, it seems a little... It's playing together as if, I don't know, it could just end with a ring. Yeah, um, ba -da -da yeah, it's hard to know what he means by that, ba -bum, at the end. Yeah, okay. As long as it does sound like a throwaway, not da 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 ba -bum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I like the idea. <laughs> the opposite of a slow trick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think... Um, I think we're pretty much at the end, but I'm just thinking what, whether we could hear one more little thing. Yeah. Is there anything else we thought towards the end? Oh, there was just a couple of... Yeah, I was just wondering in, in, the la in the finale bit, say from 260, it's getting faster, is that... Right. Mm. So let it move. Let it move. Let it, yeah. Let it move. And maybe I sort of on the plate I didn't quite get that feeling. It was mm. already really, really fast. Yeah. I, I don't know if it could have just been paced yeah. even. Mm -hmm. Metro markings are really, really fast. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> but, well, yeah. uh, so perhaps it'd be good to hear. What about from 252? One more time. It just, to me, feels that when the p when a piano comes, it the backbone slightly goes from it too much. The the dawn, the yeah, the rhythm, the rhythm, and just yeah. so that it feels to me maybe this is intentional. But when it's quiet, it's actually faster. Try not letting it go faster yeah. yet. And so we've just got a bit further to go. Also, I'd love to hear you banging out that dum 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 da dum because it's the theme isn't it mm. well you've kind of all got the theme but you've got it half tempo and you've got it quicker and so let's let's hear that and i think that might be keep the rhythm that will keep the rhythm strong as well 